Welcome to Life of Bliss. I'm Kyle and today we have the SVS PC4000 subwoofer to unbox and go over with you guys. I keep seeing SVS featured in a ton of home theaters and everyone seems to love them so I want to see what all the hype was about. I reached out to SVS and they were able to send me this unit to demo and review for you guys. So a big thank you to SVS. I really appreciate you sending this out. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed and go over what's inside. So it appears that we should start here. So if you guys follow the channel at all, you'll know that I'm more into the DIY side of home theater, making my own speaker boxes, sub boxes, uh, doing that sort of thing. But this speaker really was interesting to me because of the cylindrical design, which would be a lot harder to do if you were to be making it yourself. So that was part of the reason I was really interested in seeing this speaker. All right, it comes with unpacking instructions to tell you how to do everything. You won't need to read these, I will. We're gonna close this back up, flip it back up on its end, and turn it this way. Flip this bottom flap down, possibly. There we go. Can lay it on the ground, then move the box out of the way, and pick it back up. Looks like they send you a t-shirt, so that's pretty cool. Now in the box here you have your three foam port plugs, your power cable, and your manual and remote. Now see if we can't get all this plastic off. All right, I'm gonna lay it down again for this part so I can get it started. All right, now that the feet are free, stand them back up. Got to say they package this pretty nice to make sure it does not get damaged or scuffed or anything on its way here. Let's see if we can turn this sucker around for you guys. Oh yeah, look at that. That is pretty. So just a few things right off the bat. Man, this thing is awesome looking. It's got this fabric mesh over the MDF cylinder here and it looks like a big cat scratch post, <laughs> but, but in the best possible way. I mean, it's, it's very clean looking. Um, the top here, you can see there's this metal mesh up top, which I'll show you here in a second. You can see the three portholes. This piano black gloss looks great. You've got your, your uh, screen up front there for your, um, your controls, the amps in the back. This thing's a sharp looking sub. This, this is pretty cool. So let me show you some close-ups and we'll go over the features of the PC4000. Included in the box are your manuals, remote, power cord, three port plugs, and an SVS t-shirt. Coming in at 47 inches tall and over 90 pounds, the PC4000 is a down-firing cylindrical ported enclosure with a cloth-covered MDF finish. The removable steel mesh port cover has a high-gloss black trim ring and protects the three port openings located at the top. The cover is held in place by several compression plugs. To access the ports, simply pull up in the gap between the cover and the enclosure. Reinstalling is a matter of lining up the plugs and pressing into place. Anytime you handle the cover, fingerprints are going to get all over the black paint. Unfortunately, SVS does not provide a microfiber cloth to clean it, but I had an extra one lying around to get it all shined up. The PC4000 allows you to change the tuning of the enclosure by plugging one or all of the ports. Standard mode is without any plugs, extended mode adds one plug, and sealed mode plugs all three ports. Each mode has a slightly different response curve, but all will reach down under 20 Hz. To add a plug, just push and twist into place until flush with the top. Removing them is easy as well, just grab the plug and work it out of the opening. 
Working down towards the bottom is the dimmable LED front display. From here, you can either use the front panel buttons, the included remote, or the mobile app to change any of the DSP functions. Some of the adjustments include output volume, tuning mode, phase, polarity, and a low pass filter. It also has the ability to save three presets so you can quickly change settings based on your movie or music preferences. Located on the back is the Sledge 1200 watt RMS plate amplifier. This is a Class D design with a peak output of over 4000 watts. Along with the plug-in and power switch, there is also a pair of balanced XLR inputs and outputs, as well as unbalanced RCA in and out. Also included is a 3.5mm plug for a remote turn-on from your receiver. Moving to the underside, we find the down-firing 13.5 inch subwoofer. With a glass fiber laminate dust cap, 3 inch voice coil, and an X-Max of 54mm, this is a strong driver that should put out some impressive SPL. And speaking of SPL, SVS claims the PC4000 will hit 133 decibels at 32Hz. Pretty impressive for a single driver. Keeping the PC4000 upright is the SoundPath subwoofer isolation system. These soft rubber feet decrease the amount of vibrations transferred to the floor and walls to reduce rattles and sound transfer to other areas of your home. The PC4000 comes in at $1,800. Like most other products at SVS, it has a 45-day risk-free in-home trial, free shipping and returns, and comes with a five-year warranty. All right, guys, initial impressions on the PC4000. This thing's pretty cool. It's got some awesome features. It's super clean looking. I mean, it's got the variable tuning for the ports. It's got the 1200 watt amp with DSP, and it's got a remote or an app for your phone or tablet to be able to control all that stuff. So it's, it's really pretty impressive what they've been able to fit inside such a small package. And I know this, it looks pretty big. Um, it is almost 47 inches tall, but it's only 16 inches in diameter. So it really is a small footprint. If, if you don't have a lot of floor space, but you're not limited on height, so far this is looking like a pretty good option. So the next step is to set up the PC4000 in my theater room and demo it. I'll be taking some measurements with the UMic One and Room EQ Wizard so I can get a good idea of the output and frequency response that I'm getting in my room. So be sure to check back for that video. I'll leave a link down in the description for the PC4000 if you'd like more information on this subwoofer or any other products that SVS offers on their website. Again, thanks to the guys at SVS for sending this unit out for review. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that thumbs up button if this video was helpful and I will see you guys soon.